Taco Fall is a phenomenon and a giant of a man. When you're 7'7", seven, seven, oh, you looked at it as a spectacle. Can I do a quick selfie with you? A lot of staring, a lot of pointing. I go on you. I give him something to look at. There's Taco with a block. I'm doing everything that I can to make the most out of this lifetime. This is not a story about the 77 guy. This is my NBA journey. With the first pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select... I miss home. I haven't been there for seven years. I'm from Dakar, Senegal, one of the best cities in the world. I first came to USA in October 2012. It hit me as soon as I landed. I wasn't going to be home for a while. I wasn't going to see my family for a while. It was hard, but you know, we, we fought through. I mean, everybody goes through something until I made it here. You know, started playing basketball, fell in love with the game, fought my way to high school. Uh, on scholarships, made at UCF, which I'm really glad I did. Taco underneath. And one. Obviously, I stand out because I was given a gift. Here we go. Intensity. Footwork. Footwork. I don't want to hear him. Good. Hit him. Get there. Show. Drop step. Good. How? How? Good, good, again. We work on pre-draft stuff, off-season, even during the season. Right now we're working with Taco Fall, seven sits fella from UCF. We got to work on his conditioning, up-tempo game. Everything's changing in the league, and people are afraid to take traditional bigs, so they got to be able to be more mobile, more agile, and I think Taco has the qualities to do so. That's what I have to do today and tomorrow. I'm going to push it really hard. He's 7'6", he, he plays for UCF. He could dunk? Of course he can. I'm 4'2", he's about like 4 feet. So just by two of us, we might be the same height. Today was a little tough, but I'm glad Carlos pushed me. To make sure I keep that conditioning and, and get it better. That's something different I'm going to need in the next level, whatever it may be. He's dedicated, man, and he, he knows what he wants. Right now, he's got a camera in his hand, man. He's just a very fun guy to be around. We are a week away to the NBA draft. I'm about to get on the plane, get to LA, get closer to my individual. I've worked his tickets, so I'm on the <laughs> Airport, any public place, pretty much crazy everywhere. You get used to it. Her son is a huge fan. From the time I get to the airport, the people that I have to check in with, to the time I walk to the gates, it's like every two steps, we want to take pictures. I can get a pic, big dog. Do a quick selfie with you. Talk to him. Do you mind if I get a picture with you? Yeah. Thank you so much. Only takes a couple seconds to take a picture and just move along. They should have gave you the front seat for the legging. They should have. They should have. Sure. It's all right. It's not a long flight. Today, we're going to go get fitted for my suit. I don't want to do anything too fancy because I definitely already stand out enough, so nothing out of the ordinary. I'm John. Oh, John, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Let me give you a better handshake. That was terrible. There you go. Okay. Cool. A few jackets here that are 44 and 46 extra long, so we're going to have to see if these will work. So it's the arms that's going to be the predominant issue. Wait, wait. Yeah, right there you go, my friend. Perfect. Oh, God. That's a you lot. You can add to it? At most, we could pull maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inches out of that. You got long arms, my friend. I'm going to go grab a few more pieces. We'll see what we're up to. When I was 16, 15, 16, that's probably when I really started, like, needed to get good and close. Even at that age, it was really hard to find things. We'll see if we're going to have to go up another two sizes or not. Seems we keep coming back to the same issue. It's the same amount, too. I really hope that I can find a suit that fits me for the draft. Next time on my NBA journey. Listen, if he's indecisive right here, put his ass on a poster. Tomorrow, we'll do a lighter day just so he has his legs fresh for the 
for the Lakers workout, and that's his actual last workout before the draft. So right after the Lakers workout, he'll fly out for the draft party and, and uh, you know, find out where he's going. Good, Taco. Keep it going. Overtime is just different. Come on. Check out the rest of the videos right here because we put in that work. And subscribe because we put in that work.